Hi guys, uh, it's still Mr. Richard. In this video, we are going to work with financial nets. You're going to focus on financial mathematics. Yes, uh, we are still on prelim. September 2016, how thing? Question 7. Yes, if you are new to this uh, channel, press the red button and subscribe so that you get notified when we, we, we drop new videos. Right, let's get started. At 7.1, we are required... Let's see what are we required to do there. Johan purchased um, a new car. The bank offered him a loan at an effective interest rate of 16.4% per annum. Remember, when they say um, effective interest rate, effective interest rate is an equivalent annual interest rate. Then they said the, the nominal interest rate compounded monthly that he is required to pay. So what is nominal? A nominal interest rate is a quoted interest. So in this case, we are looking for the quoted interest, which is the nominal interest. Well, let's get started. Since um, since they say we need to determine the nominal interest rate compounded monthly that is required to, to pay. The formula will be 1 plus I effective, which is equals to 1 plus I norm divided by a compounding period to the power of M. Then we know um, I effective there, they said is 16.4%. That will be 0 0.164 you divide it by 100 then what about this this will be 1 plus i norm divided by m not, not m it should be 12 since it's compounded uh, monthly so we shall put 12 there well since when you're working with um such equation remember the, the, the main aim here is to get I know. Then let's let's add this one plus zero comma uh, one six four. It will be one one six four here, which is equals to one plus I know divided by twelve to the power of twelve. Then what we can do what we can do here is to twelve root both sides so that we make I know the the the, the 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 subject. So we are going to say twelve root. Uh, 12 root 1, 164 similarly here so that we get rid of 12 roots so that we are able to, to, to make 12 and 12 here will be cancelled so we'll be left with 12 uh, 12 root 1, 164 then we transpose 1 it will be minus 1 we are left with i norm divided by 12 then let's let's multiply both sides by 12 so that we are able to make a norm the subject so this and this shall cancel then we have i norm i norm is equals to then when you're here you can punch your calculator there yes when you punch your calculator that will be 0 0.152827.3396 so we have um 0 0.1 Five two eight twenty seven and blah 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 blah. Then we multiply by hundred since it's a percentage. Therefore, it will be I norm is equals to fifteen comma twenty eight percent. Then we are done with your seven point one. Okay, in this case, therefore we are going to seven point two. At seven point two. A farmer sets up a seeking fund. He plans to accumulate 2.3 million in the fund at the end of eight years by making equal quarterly payments into the fund. The interest rate on money accumulated is 12% per annum compounded quarterly. Right. Since they said compounded quarterly, then let me... Let's page this so that we see the question. 
the question it says let me just it says calculate the equal payments into the fund if his face payment is made in three months time so in other words we're looking for the for x here which is the the the, the monthly payment so since it's a sinking fund we use a future value formula right okay first thing here we are going to collect the data let's do it here 7.2 our fv will be uh remember they said 2.3 million right so he plans to accumulate 2.3 million so it's gonna be right 2.3 million then our i which is the interest 0 0.12 then okay what are we looking for there they said the period will be eight times four since it's eight years it will be 32 okay so from here what you are going to do uh, we will make we need to make x the subject the formula for fv will be x is equals to let's see one plus i sorry for that one plus i to the power of n minus one divided by i so to make x the subject of the formula you will divide both by a uh, by an interest and divide by one plus i to the power of n minus one so in this case it will be f fv multiplied by i uh, divided by one plus okay this will be one plus i to the power of n minus one okay let's put let's put this in a calculator 2.3 million multiplied by 0 0.12 since it's compounded quarterly you divide by four Okay, we will then say 1 plus uh, 0, 0,12 divided by 4, which is 32, since it's 8 times 4 there, minus 1. Okay, we shall put this in a calculator. Yes, um, punch a calculator when you're here. So when we punch our calculator, then for our x will be 43,807 comma 22 yes so that's it that's how you can uh, work with 7.2 now we are going to focus on 7.3 yes at 7.3 we are required to do what calculate the total amount owing two months after the loan is granted the statement emily plans to attend the summer olympics in Rio de janeiro she books an all-inclusive Olympic package through a travel agency at the price of um, 135000 That's uh is Emily present value, right? She requires a, she acquires a personal loan to cover the cost at an interest rate of uh 14.75% per annum compounded monthly and wishes to pay back the loan in 18 equal monthly installments starting three months after receiving the loan 7.3.1 calculate the total amount owing two months after the loan is granted right well um here since they said calculate the total amount owing two months after the loan is granted, the formula that we are going to use, it's, it's a compound growth formula, which will be 1 plus i to the power of n. So our present value there, it's 135,000. Okay, open the bracket. 1 plus 0, 0,12 one four seven five since since it's 14 14 comma seven five right so divided by 12 to the power of two since they said starting 
uh, because they said calculate the total amount owing two months after the loan is granted. So when you're here, you just have to punch your calculator then. Therefore, you'll place this in a calculator and punch. All right, let's see what are we getting there. We are getting 138,000, 138,339,15. So that's how you can work with, um, that's how you can work with 7.3.1. Now we are left with 7.3.2. At 7.3.2, we are required to calculate the monthly installments on the loan. Yes, that means we're looking for X, the monthly payment. So we are going to use a present value since you're working with a loan. So the aim here also is to make uh, X the subject. Then we solve it. Let's get started. Let's do it. As for 7.3.2, it will be um, PV is equals to X. Cash, pen the bracket, one plus, no, it should be PV, so cost to X, pen the bracket, therefore it's one minus one plus I to the power of negative N to divided by I. So, but the aim is to make X the subject. So when we make X the subject, it will be PV multiplied by I divided by uh, 1, 1 plus i minus n. Then let's plug our values. Our present value there, uh, it's the one that we calculated at 7.3.1, which will be, it will be this one, 138. It will be 138,339,15. Uh, is multiplied by 0, 0,12 compounded monthly it's 12 right since they said compounded monthly then we are going to say 1 plus 0, 0,12 divided by 12 to the power of 18 since they said she wished to pay back the loan in 18 equal monthly installment so that's the, 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 the solution. So let's punch our calculator. Yes. Oh, I can see here. I made a mistake here at I. That will be, that means it should be 0, 0,1475. Yes. Remember that we said in, we used 14,75% there. Similarly here, it should be 0, 0,1475. Should be, yes, sorry for that. So when you punch your calculator then, you will get uh, 8,618,99. The mistake that we made was here. So here it's supposed to be 0, 0,1475. Similarly here, it's supposed to be 0, 0,1475. So that's the solution, guys, for 7.3 and 7.1 and 7.2 we saw. So that's, um, that's how you are supposed to get that 13 marks. Since you are reviewing this, practice makes it perfect. Don't forget to click the red button and subscribe. We shall see you next week. We are focusing on calculus. Question 8. Have a great day. We love you.